Welcome to the Paygate PayWeb Shopify instruction video. What you're going to want to do is jump onto GitHub, Paygate, find the PayWeb Shopify repository and then click on the releases tab. Or you could have received this via direct link and that's also fine. You're going to want to download the latest version of the instructions PDF and save it to a convenient location. In this case, I've saved it to my desktop. If I open the instructions, we're going to run through this. You need a merchant account with DPO Paygate to accept online payments on Shopify. Register a new merchant account with DPO Paygate by completing the online registration form at paygate.co.za. Get started with Paygate. So if you head over there, you can register. I'd imagine if you're watching this video that you've already done that. Step two, one of our sales agents will contact you to complete the registration process. Again, you'll need to have done that. Then step three is you'll be provided with your DPO Paygate merchant credentials required to set up your Shopify store. This will be your Paygate ID and your merchant key. Set up DPO Paygate in your Shopify admin panel. From your Shopify admin panel, click settings payment. Let's do that quickly. We're here on the admin panel, so we're going to select a settings and then payment providers. Step two, in the alternative payment section, click select an additional payment method, then choose DPO Paygate. So under alternative payments, we're going to select Paygate. In this store, I have already used Paygate, so I'm just going to say, use different credentials. Okay, step three, after selecting DPO Paygate, enter your DPO Paygate credentials and click the activate button. Over here, we're going to just enter our DPO Paygate credentials. In this case, I've entered my Paygate test ID and Paygate encryption key for the test ID. I'm going to select all of the methods that I want, which will just be Visa and Master. I'm going to click Save. The Paygate support team will provide you with your details. Payment settings saved will display, at least at this point, with this version of Shopify. We're now going to test on the front end and see if it worked. As you can see, on checkout, Paygate is now available and configured, ready for use. Well done.